Navigating antonyms. Overcoming overgeneralization. Hello language enthusiasts. Welcome back to another exciting session of our English language learning series. Today, we're going to dive deep into a common challenge many of us face when trying to expand our vocabulary, the overgeneralization of antonyms. If you've ever found yourself applying antonyms too broadly or misusing them, you've come to the right place. Overgeneralization is a common pitfall in language learning where we assign a meaning to a word that's broader than its actual usage. When it comes to antonyms, overgeneralization can lead to misunderstandings. For example, you might assume that the opposite of advance is always retreat. However, in the context of a loan, the opposite of advance would be repayment. Context is key when using and understanding antonyms. One way to identify overgeneralization is when you find yourself struggling to use an antonym appropriately in different contexts. If you often face confusion or get corrected by others, it might be due to overgeneralization. Another clue is when you find a word that seems to have a lot of antonyms. Words usually have a limited number of direct antonyms, so a large list might indicate overgeneralization. To avoid overgeneralization, here are some strategies. 1. Practice mindful learning. Understand the context in which antonyms are used. A word may have different antonyms in different contexts. 2. Use dictionaries and thesauruses. They provide correct antonyms and their appropriate usage. 3. Learn through examples. Reading and listening to a language used in diverse contexts helps us understand the nuances. The best way to overcome overgeneralization is practice. Let's take some common words and find their antonyms, keeping in mind the context. For example, the antonym of increase can be decrease when discussing quantity, but worsen when discussing quality. Similarly, the antonym of ancient can be modern in terms of style, but new or young in terms of age. So there you have it, folks. Overcoming the overgeneralization of antonyms is all about understanding context and practicing mindful learning. Keep these tips in mind as you continue your journey towards mastering English. Remember, expanding your vocabulary is a gradual process, so don't rush it. Every word you learn brings you one step closer to fluency. Happy learning, and see you in our next session.